What's up, Brad family? Today's video is a new episode of the scariest urban legends from around the world. As the title suggests, this is a series where you leave your suggestions for the next country down below in the comments, and I go searching to the dark, shadowy corners of the internet to bring you a brand new dose of nightmare fuel. In the last episode, many of you voted to see spooky stories from Canada, so grab your imaginary internet passports because we're heading up north to find out what goes bump in the night in Canada. So let's get to it. Number three, I'm coming down now. Our first urban legend takes us to an upscale neighborhood of Calgary where there was said to have been one house that stood void of any resident for many years. The lack of an owner sparked spooky tales of strange sightings and creepy vibes amongst the neighbors. But eventually, a confident realtor saw a potentially big paycheck in the home and managed to catch the eye of an out-of-town buyer someone that hadn't heard the rumors attached to the long abandoned abode. Anxious to see the property, the man traveled all the way to Calgary and went straight to the house despite the fact that the sun had set hours before. The realtor, aware of the ghost stories, passed through the doorway hesitantly. Seeing the thick coat of dust covering the room, the man jokingly called out for any spirits still roaming the halls. But shockingly, one answered. A chilling voice yelled, I'm coming down now! The man turned to the realtor whose eyes were glued to the staircase and was already retreating towards the front door. As the color drained from his face, an ear-rattling cackle echoed throughout the room. Descending the staircase was a tall figure with piercing red eyes bearing its white, large fangs. The two didn't stick around to wait for the creature to reach the last step and bolted from the house, running full speed down the road. Between panting breaths, the man declared he, shockingly, no longer was interested in the house. But before the realtor could respond, the two realized there was a third set of feet hitting the pavement. Looking over his shoulder, the creature cracked a smile and asked, why not? Number two, Old Montreal. The second urban legend on this list is sure to remind you that nowhere is free from creepy stories. Montreal is a bustling travel destination that is home to natural beauty, a stunning skyline, and a bustling nightlife. Nestled in the modern sprawl lays a reminder of just how old this city really is. Old Montreal is a historical area that appears to be frozen in time. Walking down the cobblestone streets, visitors can see remains that date back over 200 years. So it should come as no surprise that this part of town is home to many creepy stories. One such tale that will cause the little hairs on the back of your neck to stand on end is the sighting of a ghostly apparition. According to the rumors, a woman can be seen stumbling down the street late at night without a head. What makes this urban legend particularly scary, besides her missing a head, is that people haven't reported just seeing a woman's ghostly figure, but they've actually interacted with her. Apparently, if you approach the spirit, you will hear a worried voice screaming for someone to help her find her missing head. Some versions of this urban legend say the woman was a prostitute in the 1800s that was brutally murdered while working the same street at night. And number one, Lady in Red. This next urban legend gives me the heebie-jeebies and that's why it's topping our list. The Toronto Rapid Transit System is ridden by roughly a million riders every day and includes a whopping 69 stations. But what you see today isn't how it's always been. In fact, since its opening in 1954, the routes have changed and there have been several stations closed off and abandoned. These stations haven't been in service for so long, they typically aren't even mentioned on any map. But instead of tearing down the stations, they were left to rot over the years, only occasionally being seen by those seeking an eerie adventure or TTC workers passing through. Among the limited people who have seen these abandoned stations, stories have arisen of paranormal sightings. One such creepy rumor that is sure to cause a shiver to travel down your spine is the rumor of the lady in red. When walking through the chillingly still station, 
accompanied only by the rhythmic echoes of your own footsteps, a lady wearing a bright red dress can be seen out of the corner of your eye. Some versions say she'll stand in a rigid stance with her eyes focused on you as you continue to walk past the platform, while other versions report seeing the woman pacing frantically up and down the ruined platform, appearing to be so wrapped up in her worrying she doesn't pay any attention to your presence. To me, both of those experiences seem absolutely horrifying, so I think I'll pass on some creepy urban exploring whenever I visit Toronto. Thank you so very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this dose of nightmare fuel, please give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it and I can make more of these creepy videos for you to enjoy. And if you're not yet part of this fantastic community, well now is the perfect time to join, so hit that subscribe button today. I can't wait to read which countries you suggest we cover next time. So until then, keep up the radness and I'll see you real soon. Bye!